Hello, and welcome to another episode of How to Livable. My name is Eric, and let's get started. All right, so I've already got my document open, and I've got the text that I'm going to want to have aligned. And the first thing I want to do is have all of the text that I want affected highlighted. Okay, because when I put in a tab stop, if I only have the cursor on one line, it's only going to affect that one line. So if I want to affect multiple lines of text, I want to have it all highlighted. And then up here in the left-hand corner, you can see this little icon with the, the arrow. So you see there's several different options. you got left, center, right, decimal. What we want right now is left. And then all I have to do in order to create the tab stop is to go up to the ruler on the top and click in the point that I want it. And you can see it's going to add that arrow there. So now if I go down to my text and I hit tab, it's going to go exactly to where that little line is. And then I can type page four. And I can do the same thing for this line here, page 34. And same thing here, page 72. Chapter two is a long chapter. So you can see that makes certain that everything is aligned the way I want it. Now, if I want to have it aligned to the right, for this one, you know, I can click on right, and then just again, so now once I click on that, it's going to align it to have the tab, the imaginary line, on the right-hand side of the text. And then I can drag it over so that it is completely aligned with the rest of the text. So you can see, you know, when I'm on this line, we have the left. When I go down to this line, we're going to see the right. And so if I want to do a center one as well, in chapter 5, just simply go here, and then we're going to create a center tab. And I want to drag it to the same spot. And then this will be center aligned. Pretty simple. And now there is another fun step that you can do. As we saw, we've got the tab section here. So we open that up, and here you can put in the exact position that you want. You know, if you want it to be 5 inches and 0.23, I don't know. If you want to do that, you can do that. You can change the alignment for the tab stop. Uh, you can create how big the default is, and then you can also put in a leader. So if I want to have a bunch of dots in between the text and the page, Look at that, it creates it. And then if I change the amount of text, it automatically adjusts how many dots there are. So I don't have to be worrying about deleting dots and adding dots and all that stuff. It just takes care of it, which is awesome. And that is how you use tab stops in Microsoft Word on a Mac, and it's awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.